Hammond Report for Sunday, May 9th of 2021. This is John Hammond, the organ player and accordionist. I'm back with my daily Hammond Report. Thank you very much, folks, for joining me once again for a few minutes of your day or night for some more of my music and stories. I got some nice tunes for you today and I'm playing a little early bird session here in the the club room at Local 802 Musicians Union. Here comes my main man. Rudy Lawless. He's got his wagon there with the cymbals and drum hardware coming on the bandstand. And at the piano, it's Richard Clements. And we're playing some old tunes here. I want to wish everybody also a very happy Mother's Day. For the the mothers who are not with us anymore and those who are with us and we all had one or we wouldn't be here today that's the way it works you know ah yeah that's called these foolish things and the next tune is one of my favorites it's called Girl talk goes out to all the girls out there. I used to play this one nightly in the the clubs in the Boston's Combat Zone. Where I worked seven nights a week. Continuous entertainment on Washington Street. Some very in- incredible clubs. <laughs> yes, they were. I love playing with with Richard. He's a beautiful piano player. I'd like to cut an album with him. But we got what we got here, and it's organ and piano. And Rudy gets back on the drums there before it's all over. He's going to join us. And he was very tasty, always. So I'm glad that we got... Something to remember Rudy back because he's no longer on the planet Earth, very sadly. But he kept it going right to the end. And he used those same kind of wheels that I used. We, uh, we did some gigs and we, we pushed our wagons back from the gig. He knew every subway station where he could go in with them and he drag him up on the bus and that's the last place I saw Rudy was at the bus station at the bus stop on the corner of 42nd and 9th Avenue he was a real trooper boy I tell you anybody who knew Rudy Lawless loved him that was his real name the lawless one. His middle name was Sheriff. Rudy Sheriff Lawless. And uh, he incredibly survived gunshots. Um, long story. But he knew a lot of things and he was my go to man for a spiritual advice. Uh, I'm thinking about Rudy today. And I heard back from Richard recently. And he's uh, playing. Uh, he's got a jazz gig. I think he's, he's back live. We'll have to check with him and see what's happening. But you got him here on the Hammond Report. Yeah, so did you tune in? 
at uh, NBC last night for the Saturday Night Live show with Elon Musk. That was pretty good, man. And uh, musical guest Miley Cyrus. That girl could sing it. She had a tight band. Quite a good show, really. And uh, Elon had his mom and a lot of the mothers of the cast members came on to a special tribute to Mother's Day. And Elon announced that he has Asperger's Syndrome. So how about that, folks? Anybody has got it. You can become a billionaire. It's, it's worked for him. Yeah. <laughs> I love this too. I heard Sylvia Sims and Bobby Short do this at Hasui Erdogan's wake. And Sylvia said that this was Nasui's favorite tune. One of the founders of Atlantic Records. The Skylark. Yeah. It's nice being able to phrase my melody free with Richard backing me up there. And I'm holding down the bass too. Rudy's got the cymbals up there. You're gonna join us. Well, I got myself a new hat today. The FedEx people are working on Mother's Day, and they did a beautiful job of packing it up here at hats.com, folks. And uh, yeah, I got a brand spanking new Panama. And I do you. So we're getting ready to get some live gigs happening. I am planning to be in Nashville July 15th and 16th and uh, maybe a couple of the days before so we can be ready to hit. Not sure exactly where we're going to hit, but we will be at the Summer NAMM show. And the, at this time, they said there won't be a bandstand, but uh, that could change if we're planning to play just try to work that out with the NAM folks. So I'll have more information on that for all my NAM head friends and everybody in Nashville that wants to come to the Nashville Music City Center. That's where it's going to be. And we might do something at night too on Second Avenue. They're rebuilding after the terrible blast on Christmas Day. You might remember that. That was terrible, that crazy guy. And it blew out the fronts of many of the music clubs there along 2nd Avenue. Because he was just a half a block from there. So we, uh, I got a brand new uh, flight case for my new organ. And that's where I'm planning to fly it with it. And we're going to get down for you. We're going to take you home with this one. But before I do, I just want to lay it down here for you. And I got one more for you, too. Because, you know, I used to be on the radio every morning on 1550 AM, KYOU and KY. CY in the San Francisco Bay Area and I come out at 4 o'clock in the morning and everybody should be sleeping but when they tune me in I say wake up or go back to sleep and I know I put a few folks back to sleep which is a good thing because it's not easy to get some good quality sleep you know but because the station was called K-Y-O-U, we tried to do a lot of tunes about you. It's amazing how many 
songs are about you. So I'm going to do a song right now. It's called The Very Thought of You. out there remember me on the radio I used to have a lot of fun with my show and we were on also in the afternoon they'd rebroadcast me in what they call the afternoon slide slot and we were the official radio station of the Open A's baseball team so when there was a day game They would preempt my show in the middle, which was beautiful because all the baseball heads would tune in to hear the open A's baseball, and they give me, and then we'd go into the baseball thing, and that was nice. Yeah, the very thought of you. K-Y-O-U, 1550 AM. There's no more music on AM radio, so we're going to try to fix that. I'm working on that right now. And it's nice to be on AM radio. That's how I got indoctrinated into radio in the first place. And you know, AM radio is a type of shortwave radio, and it really travels. It travels especially far at night. In fact, they had to back the station down because Phil Lairs, the chief engineer for CBS, he had that station talking. It was a 10,000 watt AM station. They could hear us down in Mexico and all the way up in Seattle and Oregon. Yeah, those radio waves travel at night. I love the compressed sound. It's just a whole different thing, AM radio, you know? I heard uh, back from Andy Schwartz, the recording vice president of Local 802 Musicians Union uh, yesterday. It was his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday again. Andy, and uh, yeah, we had some good talks, and, and sometimes he'd come down, and they would tell him it's playing too early in the club, and he'd have to obligatory yell at me, I was like, come on, Andy, you're my friend, man. I know you gotta do that, so let me play some music for you. So happy birthday, Andy Schwartz. Keep up the good work in the Musicians Union. Local 802, I'm a proud member. And Local 6 in San Francisco. We're going to take you home with this one. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. I just want to say one last thing before I get on out of here. And that is... Bye now.